Hi everyone, it's Sarah here and I am back with um, my video on the Fujifilm Instax SP1 printer for your Android and mobile phones. Um, this is a wireless um, printer and I've shown the unboxing in my video previously but I just wanted to show you, you know, how you can print photographs from this with your um, Android phone. Um, so I'm just going to go into my gallery and select a, a picture that I want to print. Now I'm going to press the on button down for a second until the green lights come on. You can see them there. Um, what it does is it's got some green lights here which is your battery indicators and it's got green lights here from 1 through 10 that lets you know how many pictures you have left and I don't know if you can see that or not but I have 9 pictures left because I've already done a tester and I've still got full battery health so I'm just going to go into um, as I said my pictures and I'm going to select one of Isla which is my my little Springer Spaniel puppy and I'll show you let me just go down further um, two ticks until I get the one I want now this was her when we first got her so what I need to do is, first of all, I've done a step ahead of myself, you need to download the app. Now the app is called Instax Share. You can see that just here. So you would press that. Okay. Now what you can do with this is you can take a picture from it just with using your the camera on your phone as is. It gives you this option here, real-time template, where you can print out a picture real-time and it'll put a date and a location stamp on it. I'm going to try that um, later on. Now you can choose one from your gallery or you can choose one from, um, let me go back one, choose one from Facebook or Instagram and then it's got a reprint button and then it's got your settings. So for your settings, you would, um, what I did was I went into my Oh, shaking my camera here. I went into my Wi-Fi settings and got the printer set up first there. So that now I just need to go into the app and choose a picture from the gallery. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to print um, let me pick one from when we first got her because she was just a wee totey wee thing. Uh, This is quite a good one. Okay, so I've selected a picture of little Lila, our little Springer pup. And she's got the feet and the legs and the ears all flying because she's running through the grass. And all you want to do is it's got a little button here where you will connect and print. So you just press that. It's telling me that it's connecting to the Instax printer. And that it's sending the print direct to the printer. Now it started making a noise. Now if you can see the green lights flashing. And here's the picture coming now. And then you just take it out the top. Now the machine continues to make a little noise for a few seconds afterwards. You can hear that and that's it stopped and then you can just switch it off. Now this to um, your picture will take oops I'm not focusing the picture will take roughly a minute to develop if I just pop that on top of my phone there you should be able to see the, the image coming get some black to focus there so you can see the ears are starting to come. If I hold that up a little bit, you can see it developing.
and it's already coming through. So within a minute you should have your picture and what I've seen online, I read all the reviews on YouTube before I did this and it's saying for the black colours to come out or the darker colours to come out it would take roughly 10 minutes for them to fully develop. Now I've already taken a picture as a tester to start with and it's this one here and again this is um, my little pup Isla and it came out really well and if you can see you know just side by side the two of them this is fully developed I did this one about 10 minutes ago and obviously this one's just starting to come through it's good fun um, I'm glad I got it you can actually get the cameras that you know that these cartridges fit into a camera a, a Fujifilm Instax camera I decided against that because I've got a good camera on my phone and I've got a good Canon camera and as long as you convert your files to JPEG you'll be okay. It doesn't tolerate the RAW files with my Canon camera so well um, so I would have to convert them into JPEGs before actually sending them to this. Um, and this is it just coming now so we give it a little shake. Um, I'm impressed with this, I really like it. It's going to make me want to do um, pocket pages now. So you'll need to watch my YouTube channel for pocket pages coming up. So you can see this. We're almost there with it. It's quite good, isn't it? <laughs> Simple things. And the other thing is, you can buy cartridges for these. Um, and they've got um, coloured borders around them. You can get them with uh, stars, stripes, airmail, all sorts. Um, you know, there's quite a vi wide variety. You don't have to go with the white borders, but I quite like the white borders. Um, and that's it. So that's my review on the Fuji Film Instax SP1 printer. It's portable. It's easy to use. Um, I like it lots um, and it's a good buy um, and I'm quite sure that the rest of my family are going to love that as well the fact that you can just connect your mobile to it and take a print of a picture because I think that for a good number of years now I've not got any hard copy photos anywhere I tend not to print them out because everything's on discs and drives and it's on your files and your computer and you just people don't print pictures like that often anymore but now that I've got this I will use it to the full advantage um, I absolutely love it so there you go that's it little um, Fuji Instax Instagram not Instagram Polaroid pictures thanks for watching bye for now